Do you, do you sort of regret never having had a chance to play in the football league? I do really, with, with me being so close, right? Um, if I'd have stayed at Cambridge United, I'd have probably could have got a couple of games in in the football league. But there, that's the way it goes, and it? that's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, really. I mean, I'd have loved it. I, I would have loved to. Have, you see, the difference is. Today, like when I was a kid, when I, I got in Chompsford Reserve, I got in Chompsford Reserve side just before I went to do my national service. And then I got called up to do my national service. And I never, ever kicked a ball in the army. I, what happened was, I, come home on leave, I would play. They would, Ozzy Wilshire would say, Tony, would you come down? You're playing, you're playing for the reserve. So I played a few games every time I come home on leave. But in the army, I didn't play because my sergeant said to me, he said, because I went up to top camp, my, my mate Roy Green, he said, come up, Tony, you're, Captain Rapson wants to see you play. You, he wants you to play in the army side because Roy Green played in the side and yet he was only in Johnson's reserve. Well, I went up there and Captain Rapson wanted me to go back. But my sergeant down the officer's mess said, if you go to play football, I'm posting you. And you'll be posted by Thursday. You'll go to Edinburgh. I said, but you can't. He said, I can do anything I want. And I thought, he bloody... And I was talking to bloke Johnny Moody from Liverpool. He said, Tony, don't upset him. He said, because... Well, it's not what he said. He said, Butch, don't upset him. He said, because you'll go. And I thought, oh, there's no way I want to go to Scotland. So I never played football in the army, but I used to come home on leave and play for Chelmsford Reserves. Mm -hmm. And I played three first team games for Chelmsford City. You can read it in that book. I played three games for Chelmsford City while I was stationed, uh, while I was in the army, and scored in every game. Hereford, Guildford, and I forget the other one, but yeah. And and I had three games then because I signed straight away but what I'm saying is is that I didn't have a chance to go to a bigger club you know it would have been nice if I had gone to a bigger club to start with I think this is what you've got to do and it like Jeff Hurst Charlie played at Chelmsford and the first thing he done was sent his son up to West Ham so you can always come down mm. can't you? you know yeah. what I mean but yeah. there you are it doesn't matter does it don't, yeah, don't you're like 12 years of Chelmsford before even came to Cambridge. Yeah, yeah I was. I mean, he, he said before that... Yeah, I was 33 when I come to you. Yeah. Well, you work at... Yeah, I, I must have been 32, 33 when I signed for yeah, so Cambridge United. Did you ever get word that other clubs inquired after you before? Oh, when I was at Chelmsford, I yeah. could have gone to Colchester. I definitely could have gone to Colchester because yeah. uh, Benny Fenton wanted me. But the thing was, I was earning £14 a week at Chelmsford part-time. And I had a job in Marconi's, eight or nine pound. That, that took me over 23 quid a week. And in them days, that's a lot of money. Do you know what I mean? Where in the football league, are only, the coaches are only getting 16 and 18 quid a week. So I thought, because Harry said, do you want to... Well, Harry didn't give me the chance. He didn't want me to go, really. There's no way Harry wanted me to go. He just said, I've had, a, I've had, a, I've had an offer from Colchester for you, but Harry did not want me to leave Chelmsford. He didn't. I know that. He's told people, he said, I never wanted him to leave, but there. No, See, that was that was good money in them days, because in the Football League, um, you had to go to the very top before you'd get probably 20-odd quid in them days. <clears throat> Years, you know. Was it good money at United? Well, when I was at Cambridge United, I was on £28 a week in 1968, mm. which to me was good money. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, they didn't, they, they didn't ask me to do it. I mean, I could have, for all they knew, I could have been working a little tiny job here, which I did. I'd done a little bit of coaching up at St. Said School. But you see, that was bloody good money, £28 a week. Yeah, I presume the rest of the squad won. Similar money? Yeah, I expect so, yeah. yeah. So it's worth your while coming to Cambridge. Oh yeah, loved it. I'm glad I did. The best thing, it's the best thing I ever done, going to Cambridge. It really did, because you see, 
not being funny, people at Chelsea, they, you know, they get used to, you know, I'll butcher, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I went, I, I was classed as a bloody hero, wasn't I, you know? Because you only got to read that bloody book. And, um, and they still don't know how many goals I've got, because I said to that Steve, Steve, I scored a hat-trick at Barry Town, and you have got me down as two. He said, well, that's what you, that's what we was told. I said, but I got three. And I, my memory on that game is, is, is I know, first class, because Harry Ferrier, a man said to him, who scored your hat-trick? He said, what's his Christian name? And he said, Humphrey. So he'd be funny. Harry was being funny, not, you know. Instead of being Tony, he said Humphrey, what's his, you know, but, um, no, I, I, you know, I enjoy, I, I enjoy going to Cambridge, actually. I wish I'd have bloody, if I'd have known what I'd have known, I, I should never have left. I didn't have to. Bill said, it's up to you, but Kate, uh, Chomsky would have come in for you again. I thought, well, if you're telling me that, you can't want me, so I'm going. And... I wish I hadn't. I didn't have to. Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't have to. I could have played my way back into the side. No problem. That wasn't, that wasn't a problem. In fact, that have made me, you know, because, I mean, I didn't, um, as I say, I never moved there. Bill asked me to go through there one day to train hard, and I was sick. And he said, you ain't used to it. I won't say what he said, you ain't used to train, and I, I said, not as hard as this. <laughs> but there you are, <clears throat> I did enjoy it, yeah. He must have made you as a player to let you do that. Yeah, so, yeah. oh, he wanted me badly, yeah, he did. Because Mr Wynn, do you remember that director, Mr Matt, Matt Wynn? Matt Wynn. Yeah. He was at Dunmo in the cafe when, because uh, they... Because, I tell you, my going to Ch uh, Cambridge caused a hell of a lot of trouble. Now, I can tell you two, you two now that I went to a cafe in Dunmo to sign for Cambridge United, you know, to talk business, and um, I asked them for a thousand quid, and they would have given it to me. But there was one thing happened somewhere along the line, Chelmsford City, someone took a fee for me or something happened and Bill said to me, he said, I'm sorry, Tony, but it's been a balls up because they, Chelmsford, will not let you go for nothing. I said, but they, they've, they've told me I He said, no, someone has took, he said, you'll get 600 quid and that's all. And I do know that someone bloody had some money out of that down at Chelmsford, so, you know. But there, I don't matter. Yeah, it's all, all rather by now, I guess. But. Yeah, <laughs> but as I say, I'm, I'm really, really pleased that I moved to Cambridge. It's not a really good club. Yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it there. Yeah, and you had the rare distinction of you know, winning the Southern League two years in a row with yeah. clubs. Yeah, that's right. We two, which is good, isn't it? It's yeah. a, it's an honour to do that, really, isn't it? To win that, you know. As I say, like you say, Andrew, the the, the biggest shame was that I didn't stay to have a couple of games in league football, you know. Yeah, yeah but do um, you think you'd have been all right? I, well, not at my age. I mean, I I would have, th but. <laughs> Having said that, I, I, I'd, have, I'd have just liked it to have happened, but um, there you are, it's not the end of the world, is it? Okay. Uh, right, so I'd like to say uh, thank you, uh, Tony, for your, uh, your time today. Uh, uh, we're glad you uh, had such fond memories of, of Cambridge. Uh, uh, um, what what do you, you, you finally, your final recollections of your time at United? Just a very enjoyable time. Winning the championship and playing in that playoff with Wigan was, yeah, really good. Yeah, enjoyed my time there. And I, I still look for their results. Oh, Cambridge United, good. yeah, <laughs> still look for their results. And I'm pleased to see them doing well again this year. Yeah, my fingers crossed. Yeah. I'm back right. in the league yeah. at last. That's right, yeah, yeah, let's hope so. Well, thanks very much, Tony. That's really good, really enjoyable. Nice to meet you. Good.